Hello, Leo. Welcome to your weekly reading for May 5th to the 14th. This is for Leo, Sun, and Rising. And if you're new to my channel, I do a traditional cult cross spread. I also use astrology and my guides to help bring a lot more clarity. To get more specific with your reading, Leo, I do this because I love you and I want you to feel like it's a personal reading. As if we're here one-on-one -on -one, rather than a general spread. Lastly, Leo, this, I use astrology well, it, let me tell you something. I use it because it's been used for thousands of years. It's had major influence on divination, including tarot. And I finally made a video explaining in depth why I use astrology and how it goes hand in hand with tarot. And I'm going to throw the link up there. So uh, it really does bring a lot more depth to your reading. Now, Leo, this week, the reason you will notice I said May 5th to the 14th, I usually, you know, the weekly, it would technically be 8th to the 14th, but we have that full moon lunar eclipse in Scorpio, and we have to include that because it's huge. And Leo, I'm going to have to tell you right now, all right, this eclipse affecting the four fixed signs the most, your fixed sign. So you are definitely going to feel this eclipse. My dog woke up, I just noticed, all right? So you get to actually see her face because she's not sleeping. And so, Leo, what, the, what does this mean? Okay, let me tell you. This full moon lunar eclipse, I want you to think about what happened back in May 2022, May 15th, 2022. That's the last time we had a full moon lunar eclipse in Scorpio. These eclipses happen, happen in series. So we've been in the Scorpio Taurus axis for a while, and this is the last one, okay? Scorpio, a lunar eclipse in Scorpio is deep. It's intense. It's it, it's game changing. It's really going uh, in, in deep layers here, and it's affecting your fourth house. So Think of it this way, something may be eclipsed out of your life, okay, uh, around the, f uh, 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 and it may have to do with something around your home, okay, the fourth house is your domestic sector, so your home, all right, something, uh, maybe a relationship, there could be a parting of ways with a relationship, there could be a parting of ways with a home, you could actually uh, move in with a partner, and that's the reason why you are leaving a home, right, so there's, just think, think about that. Now, the other thing that I'm going to tell you is that I want you to see this eclipse as, uh, uh, here's the thing, I'm going to make it an analogy. This is going to make it easier for you. Think about you cooking soup on a stove, okay? You're standing there, you turn on the burner, all right? There's energy. The burner gets hot, okay? The soup boils. That's the day of the eclipse, okay? You turn off the burner. There's still energy. It's still hot, okay? So some Leos may feel this eclipse a lot sooner. Or you may have already started feeling it, okay? You may have started feeling it even back to uh, May 15th, 2022. If you want to go back a little further, think about November, okay? 19th, 2021. I mean, this is, we're talking, this is, been going on for a while and so uh some of y'all may feel it later too okay some may feel it later but again this is in your fourth house your domestic sector okay that includes family as well uh so uh this eclipse i want you to think of it as being cathartic as a purging okay this is a purging this is detoxifying thinking about what's not empowering you what's not serving you well we're letting that go we're surrendering that now okay we're surrendering it and it's really like there's a, a couple oppositions this day um it's really it's it's going to be a deep eclipse I'm, I'm not gonna lie it's going to be pretty deep so uh the good news is that venus two days later moves into cancer hello we love that all right and so at this point venus and mars are in cancer in your 12th house now the reason why this is really interesting okay is because it's in your 12th house while mercury's retrograde in Taurus. So there's, I'm not going to lie, some of y'all this week, people from your past could be coming back. People could have come back. Uh, people from your past, uh, especially in career, all right, because it's Mercury retrogrades in Taurus in your 10th house, okay? And so maybe there's something that's, uh, for some Leos, that's going to resonate, all right? Or you may be in a situation, a message that came through is like some sort of forgiveness to someone from the past, okay? Uh, keep that in mind, all right? So let's go ahead and get started, Leo. Let's see what's going on for you uh, for... 
May, uh, ah, where are we? May 5th to the 14th. Again, this is for Leo Sun and Rising. And for anyone who is, you're welcome to read your moon, your Venus. If you know your birth chart, absolutely, you are welcome to read any of those placements that resonates with you all right leo so um i only say rising and again that video that i made about the astrology and the tarot that really is uh hey that's uh, uh i talk about rising there too i get so many questions about the rising sign um why it's important why i always bring up the rising it it really is the other half and i explain more about that in that video uh but you really do need your birth chart to know your rising Oh my God, Leo. Okay, you even see my dog looking at the spread, right? I am rarely speechless, Leo. You know this. If you're a subscriber, I'm rarely speechless. Look at your spread. Look at your spread. I don't even know what to say at this point. I usually go in order. I'm just gonna go ahead and show you what you pulled in the heart of your spread. Hello. It's looking like you are having your best weekly reading. So far, uh, because look at what's in your future, but let's, I'm not even gonna, let's, let's just, let's get to it. You got the three of pentacles. This is absolutely amazing. This is absolutely amazing. I really love this for you. Uh, there's a lot of reasons why I love this for you. Three of Pentacles is all about growth. It's about advancement. It's about development, but it's also about creation, okay? This card is all about teamwork, teamwork making the dream work. This is, uh, you may have started partnering up with other people. Uh, you may have started some sort of passion project. You may have started a new job with new colleagues. There's a lot happening here, a lot happening here, but it's where you pulled other people in. There's a lot of bonding related to this card okay now we all know that this is uh well maybe you don't that's why i'm here and i'm going to tell you but three of pentacles teamwork makes the dream work okay but at the core you know when you work with other people there's that bonding element and i love that for you leo and i absolutely love that for you leo okay this came up in your past and so you know obviously it depends on the day that you watch this reading but there could have been a lot of leos who may have gotten new jobs or may have brought in you know new people into your career uh, uh atmosphere or your orbit all right if not career it's just you know maybe a passion project maybe hey uh uh, you know, maybe you're working on a book, okay? And you're you know, now it's like reaching out to the rate, the agents and the publisher. The, just think about that. It could be, you know, family related as well. There could be some like finally like bonding with, you know, some people in your family, aunts and cousins, but even still. I love this card. I love the fact that you pulled this card. Uh, this is all about creation. So there's a, something new, all right, that you may have started, okay, that you may have brought into your life. Now, remember, pentacles, not only money and wealth, but also our physical reality. They're very earthbound, all right? Now, I don't even know what to say. You know, you ruled the sun. I mean, this is the, I mean, the sun rules you. So, um, Ooh, you look at the look at your entire spread just take a moment to look at your entire spread and just soak it in and absorb it because you got the sun in the heart of your spread leo i cannot even tell you the last time i've seen the sun in the heart of your in, in any sign spread okay this is going to be one of the best weeks for you okay whatever happens with the solar eclipse for you no remember what i said it's cathartic it's almost like a sense of relief right purging something that's not serving you well, surrendering something that's not serving you well. Now, we know that whatever happens was meant for you, okay? And, and keyword for you, okay? Keyword, da. Now, the sun, optimism, growth, expansion, opportunity. This, you're good. You're good. You're good this week. You're absolutely, this is, if if you've ever gotten a tarot reading, you know this is the biggest yes in tarot. And so this is also the most powerful symbol in tarot. This is, the, not only in tarot, in the world, it's the most powerful thing in the world. Leo, you, me, my dog, we're all alive because of the sun. Our solar system exists because of the sun. And if you really want to get meta, if you really want to get meta, I will get meta, all right? You know that there's billions of galaxies up there, right? 
billions of galaxies. They're all made of star clusters, star systems, right? And especially binary, right? The binary star systems. Now, we know we are a solar system. We have a sun. We are an anomaly. That's how special the sun is. You are going to have an amazing week. This, uh, you see the child on the white horse with the red banner. I mean, this is victory. This is that f the just long hair, no care, feeling free, feeling good, white horse, purity. I mean, you are good. Leo, you're getting me excited. Huge. This is a, oh my goodness. Now, you did get the page of cups, all right? You got the page of cups in your challenge area, okay? So, I'm going to tell you right now, all right? I'm going to tell you right now. If there is something that you want, you better go for it this week, okay? Pages, they bring in new beginnings. They usher in new change, new opportunities. It came up in your challenge area. So do not feel discouraged. Go for whatever is going to make you happy. That's going to bring that optimism in your life. This sun, you know what the sun does? It shines light, okay? Right? Like we even like uh, my dog knows that, right? And so what that does is shining all those dark shadows out of your life, okay? So you're good. Now, Page of Cups coming up in your challenge area. Do not feel discouraged if there's something that you want to go toward. If there's uh, uh, some of y'all are, um, it's almost like some of y'all are, it's hard. It, you may feel like it's hard to follow your bliss this week. You're good. You were good. Look at the rest of your spread. All right. So don't feel discouraged in terms of going after the things that are going to make you, you know, the dreams that you have. Actually, the Page of Cups is Pi very Pisces energy here. He's a dreamer. Look at him looking at this cup. I mean, who else like talks to a fish coming out of a cup, right? A lot of creativity, a lot of imagination. I don't want you to feel discouraged. I want you to dream like big, right? Dream big. Go big. This is amazing. And open your yourself up to you know pages are messengers there's cups is love emotions all that too so be willing to accept that into your life as well okay if they're if you're single hey i want you on tinder now okay i want you swiping right until your thumb is sore all right i want to see you wearing a band-aid on your thumb by next week okay if you're single all right go out to the bars go to the libraries go to the park wherever you meet singles i don't even know these days i mean the observatory i don't know hey you may be a big nerd like me and that's probably where you know the singles go meet up but listen hey you got the nine of pentacles in your crown and the King of Cups and the Root of Your Spread. Like, I cannot, like, ah. Nine of Pentacles. Let's start with her, okay? This is, okay, like, I, see, this is how excited I am. And my dog's now getting excited. Look, Nine of Pentacles. Look what Leo's got. So you got the Nine of Pentacles. This is, I call her like the Meryl Streep of Tarot. Look how glamorous she is. Look how regal she is. Look at all that abundance around her. All that wealth and abundance, all right? So this is absolutely amazing because this is all about, you know, like I said, Venus is moving into Cancer this week. This card is ruled by Venus, okay? You see the symbol of Venus all over her gown, right? This is actually Venus and Virgo. Remember what I said? Uh, Pentacles are earthbound. Virgo, Earth sign like really grounded right but also here's the great thing is that there's a lot of independence with this card a lot of financial freedom a lot of financial success okay but then again remember pentacles earth also in your physical world so a lot of wealth all right so it's like it's kind of like what you're thinking about so a lot of y'all are experiencing it a lot of y'all are feeling it a lot of y'all want that and a lot of y'all you're gonna get it okay keep your energy levels high Go after the things you want. Do not feel discouraged, okay? Let these new things in. Let new possibilities in. Let, uh, and, and, and keep dreaming for the things that you want. They're gonna happen. Keep manifesting. I, you know, I, I, I use that word so infrequently uh, because I, I, it, it doesn't vibe with me, <laughs> even though that's another word that I don't say that much, but uh, I love this, okay? You even see the snail here, right? I'm gonna point this out to you. The snail here, uh, it's a big sign. You can see, uh, this is saying that you, it, it's almost like, you know, her wealth didn't come like from inheritance or anything. Like she earned her spot here. 
she earned everything, all this abundance, all right? And, you know, remember I was talking about all that independence with this card. Snails carry their own home. I mean, this is self-sufficiency. Now you got the King of Cups, all right, the root of your spread. This is all about love. This is someone who is so loving. He has so much love to give. He leads with his heart, not his head, okay? That's the King of Swords. This is someone who has so much love to give, someone who knows the name of everybody in his kingdom and his empire because that's how loving he is whether it's the emperor whether it's you know a farmer doesn't matter very loving but also a lot of self-love all right don't be discouraged all right do not be discouraged you got the king of cups and the root of your spread for anything that you want to go after okay this is emotional stability to remember cups love emotions even wonderment too right so that's why i want you to keep dreaming okay keep dreaming for the things that you want all right don't feel discouraged now you see his throne is literally on top of water all right this is how emotionally stable he is. Nothing can knock him off that throne. Now, a lot of y'all are actually going to feel very intuitive this week. It's not even, uh, it, it, and if you don't feel it, open up those like uh, uh, pathways, all right? Spend some time feeling, you know, with the King of Cups coming up in the root of your spread, it's almost like it's going to come naturally, which I really love, but uh, this is going to be a great week for you because look at your future. You got the Three of Cups uh hello hello leo this is a card of victory this is a card of celebration of joy this is a card of listen you can see the three sisters here dancing i mean this is like when i say celebration i'm talking celebration all right so it looks like there's something that's coming this is in your future you're gonna be celebrating something soon okay uh again a lot of family energy with this as well all right so uh there's uh remember that eclipse is happening in your fourth house so it could be like a big thing with you and your family like you're finally like leaving a house that you know wasn't great for you and moving into a, a better house like it's something that you know and we it, 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 this card is like uh, there's a lot of sisterhood and brotherhood involved with this card as well and i always say if you don't have siblings it's like your soul sister it's like your bro right celebrating with your squad okay now i'm going to point out something very significant here in your reading that i that's getting me really excited you got the three of pentacles, you got the sun, and now you got the three of cups. So you have two threes here, okay? Remember what I said, birth of new things, okay? Creation, all right? Growth, advancement, development. Like this is very auspicious, all right? You're good, you're good, you're absolutely good. You're very, very, very good this week, okay? This is, I. you're blowing me away. You're blowing me away. This is absolutely amazing, and you know, I absolutely love this for you and in fact the three of cups is ruled by cancer and you know venus is moving into cancer so i you know i can't even uh i can't even what's really also very interesting is that uh the king of cups is ruled by scorpio we have that full moon lunar eclipse in scorpio all right and so it seems like it's not even going to affect you that much like remember this is emotional stability being on top of your emotions like if it should it have some sort of impact on you where you see it unfavorably no remember what i said it's use it as a cathartic moment as in like a purging and it's surrendering something that's not working for you for something better to come look at this you have the sun and a three i mean like oh this is your best weekly reading so far i like can't even um let's get to your stuff leo if you like this reading it would be so great if you like subscribe Leave comments. I love hearing from you, Leos. And if you're not a commenter, you know I love emojis. I don't even care if you throw a lion up in there. Be proud for being Leos. Y'all are fun. Y'all are Leos. <laughs> Y'all are fun is what I was going to say. Um, and if you are a subscriber, you know I love you. Thanks so much for being here. I, I wouldn't even be here if it wasn't for you. I am truly grateful. I really do appreciate it. Y'all are amazing. Y'all are the best. Y'all are... Come on. You know it. You know it. You're the best. Okay. Okay, so Leo, let's look at this. Uh, I, oh, I feel like I'm like an extra in Seinfeld or something, like just in the background. Like, anyway, let's get started. Look, you got the chariot. Okay, so this is really crazy. I love the fact that you got the chariot. Okay, and I'm gonna tell you why because there's another card that's very significant that I'm gonna talk about that 
coming with a chariot is is, is great okay so uh, you, uh 2023 is the year of seven okay if you're into numerology right 2023 is seven okay and seven sure lucky seven uh we can think about seven in so many different ways like seven chakras but at the end of the day it really is introspection and the chariot hey this is someone who has found that self-determination that willpower to move forward okay this card is ruled by cancer speaking of venus moving into cancer now what's really great about this is that's all you want at this point is to move forward okay from anything that's been holding you back and then remember what i said with these two threes growth advancement development look at the chariot take a really good look at the chariot okay you see the magician's baton from the magician's card card one in his hand he's not even holding on to the reins okay he's holding the magician's baton you see the slivers of the moon on his shoulders all right from the high priestess card two you see the city in the background from the emperor card you see uh i mean uh, uh the, the the lingam and the yoni right here in the middle of the this is like from the lover's card from so it's it's like he's learning as he goes through his hero's journey all right and so this is at least like picking everything up and that's what makes the chariot special now when i say that he's uh ruled by uh, cancer you have to remember cancers are cardinal signs so they are leaders and so because people always are always like why is that card ruled by cancer because i always think of cancers as like the emotional and but no they're they're cardinal so cancers are leaders and so you see the duality here too as well like these two sphinxes polar opposites right they're going opposite direction doesn't matter you're in the chariot seat it does you're you're doing that balance even with the lingam and the yoni there it's really crazy i really love that that masculine feminine like that balance anyway i won't even you know get too much into it but just know that you're you're ready you're ready to move forward and you're moving forward in this very auspicious uh like compelling way it's just you have a freaking great reading look at your external factors area you have the eight of cups okay so the fact that you all you want to do is move forward and now you're getting the eight of cups where the figure is moving forward all right another significant thing during an eclipse how special is this this is really special this is really amazing you see nothing is wrong here okay nothing is wrong with the cups he knows something's better for him he knows something's better for him okay now it may be a little bittersweet okay remember this is an eclipse eclipses are game changing there uh, can be a little bit challenging you see there's rocks in the water water is emotion when there's rocks in the water it's not an easy right it's not an easy walk and so can be a little bittersweet but again that's what happens with eclipses but at least you're moving forward you see the red cape the red shoes that's a lot of passion that's a lot of power that's just like I know this isn't serving me well moving forward. This is what's happening for you. I really love it. And there could be, uh, for a lot of Leos, someone that may be, someone or something, let's just say, keep it that way, that may be leaving you, all right? Remember, this eclipse is, is eclipsing something, okay? It's eclipsing something. It's like this purging, detoxifying, uh, 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 something that's not serving you well. So something or someone could be leaving you as well, all right? But look at this. It's almost like you want it. <laughs> it's And it's like empowering. But a lot of y'all just uh, expect uh, some sort of parting aways. Again, this eclipse is happening in your fourth house, so something with home matters, something with domestic fa matters, family matters, uh, uh, even uh, uh, like relationships. Even like there could be even, um, it, it is May, isn't it? Um, someone graduate, like if you have children, like graduating, going to college, like that kind of energy, okay? But because look how auspicious this is. This is like, very auspicious now boom you got the fool i mean this eclipse is actually really good for you it's actually really good for you all you want is to start this new journey i mean this is like amazing this is absolutely amazing okay take that leap of faith take that leap of faith that's actually i you know a lot of y'all will if, if you're presented with opportunities which it looks like you will be you got the sun in the heart of your spread 
Take that leap of faith. I mean, it's really interesting that you got two suns here, right? You see the full abundance of the sun here? And that's what I want you to see the fool as as well. I want you to read it as F-U-L-L -L, as well as the fool, okay? Because the fool brings that fullness of life, okay? Uh, this is absolutely amazing. You're blowing me away. And then lastly, there you go. You got the ten of ones in your final outcome. Ten is the end of the suit. This is just saying that you've probably been going through it. You've been going through some moments. There's been a lot of burden for some of y'all. There's been some burnout energy, some stress. There's been some like uh, taking on a lot of responsibilities that have just really weighed you down like an anchor. OK, and even to the point where you don't even can't even see where you're going. Like you're just like uh, it's, it's almost like you're an autopilot and carrying all this burden even for other people other people's responsibilities you can even see him here his head like he can't see where he's going but remember 10 is the end of the suit you're laying those wands down this came in your final outcome that's absolutely amazing and then look there you go clarified we get the high priestess i love this for you this oh my goodness this is remember you got the king of cups here i said he's a very intuitive he's the most psychic king now you just got the high priestess who is not only the guardian of the subconscious i am telling you that because what did i say earlier venus and mars moving into your 12th house of the subconscious so you are good you are protected you are fully protected okay go within you're going to spend a lot of time going within. This is, you know, the high priestess comes out. She's That's what she's telling you to do. Go within. Trust your intuition. You already got the king of cups here. This is, uh, you're good. You're absolutely good. If you're in your head a lot, it looks like you're just unrooting things. And you're going to be fine. This is honestly, Leo, I think this is your best weekly reading ever. I'm going to have to look back at some of your re uh, readings, but... I honestly think this is, if if not your best, this is one of your best weekly readings. This is a very special reading. Three of Pentacles, the Sun, Three of Cups. You got the Nine of Pentacles and the King of Cups. You got the Chariot, you got the Fool, you got the High Priestess, you got the Eight of Cups in your external factors area with the Eclipse. I, yeah, 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 I'm very, I'm rarely speechless, but there we go. Uh, Leo, you are amazing. I want you to take all of this, use it to empower you this week, and I want you to just really go for your dreams and go for the things that you want and, you know, start, even start new things, okay? It looks like you have, many of you have. Start those things that you want, all right? You got the three of cups celebration in your future you're good even my dog she's never shown this much interest in a reading before that's so crazy anyway leo i love you so much uh thanks so much for tuning in again if you like this reading hey it'd be great if you like subscribe leave comments i love hearing from you and claim it you have to claim this this is amazing um, I'll see you next week. Thanks so much, uh, Leo. Um, and if you're a subscriber, uh, thank you so much for being here. I love you. I'll see you next week. Next week is big, 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 big. Let me just tell you, I, if you saw my monthly, Jupiter's moving into Taurus, all right? 10th house of career, fame, public recognition for you, Leo, for you. Out of all the signs, you're going to have the most luck, expansion, growth, prosperity, profit i mean like you're good in terms of career public image public recognition honors achievement success all of that we also have a new moon in taurus that's really big all right so leo i was about to do a chef's kiss thing but oh, i'll do it okay is that weird anyway uh leo i love you thanks so much i'll see you next week Bye bye